Well, hello everyone. You're about to watch Two Twits play a little bit of... Resident Evil 3 Remake. Nemesis Edition. Stars. I'm really liking the, like, the ham simmer music going on in the background. <laughs> <sighs> and there is a titular character that this game is known for. The Nemesis. He's just kind yeah. of chilling. Just, you know... Chill, chilling in fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, where else are you going to chill? A fridge? Ah, let's look at the options. Yeah, that's pretty hip. Okay. So let's go straight into with the controls. Uh, toggle run. Few, basically, very simple little change you can make. Um, and you can turn on an aim assist. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I can turn on so... a controller vibration. Oh, I shall do that on my mouse. That won't make any problems at all. Maps vibration. <laughs> Gee. Okay, let's not go on, on the potential applications of that. Um, so anyway, um, I've not actually played this game at all. Um, you, how long have you been playing this game now? Uh, about an hour and a half. I'll be able to tell you exactly when we go into the game itself. So, how are you finding the controls so far? Are they intuitive for this sort of game? Uh, they're perfectly suitable for this sort of game. I turned down the sensitivity quite a bit but that's because because i generally don't like playing with really high sensitivity as you can see right there my it's all the way down there mm. <laughs> i mean it was only there to begin with anyway but still I turned it down a little bit anyway can i suppose your camera wobble on eh, why is not? it not distracting i've not really found it to be to be honest so far okay so i'm not sure hdr is HDR. What's HDR? HDR. Uh, very top is grayed out. HDR mode. Well, it's grayed out, so it means we can't do anything with it, so... Probably some kind yeah. of a... High it definition... Uh, resident? Resolution, or? probably. Resolution, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we really need to actually brush up on what a lot of these options do before we critique them. <laughs> Oh. But never mind, we've winged it so far, so we'll continue to do so. Uh, I mean, the sound settings on can be any minimalistic, but I don't really think that needs to be too in depth. Um, Language settings, huh? basic what you need. Graphic settings, got a bit more here. We've got display options, we've got resolution options, we've got the graphics APIs, whatever they are. We've got rendering mode, which I've just got set as normal. Image quality is 100%, obviously, for the quality of the actual image. So you've got more stuff scrolled down? Uh, no, I can't scroll down. That's the bottom of it. Oh, right, because you kind of got, like, the the bar on the side there. It makes it look like there's more. Yeah. Does it... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I had to click on it. That was why. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing here. Well, there's actually plenty here. Okay, so we got refresh rate, frame rate, V-Sync, anti-aliasing, texture quality, texture filter quality, mesh quality, shadow quality, shadow cache. Screen reflection. So, like, there's a lot here. So to basically compensate for our complete lack of knowledge on this, how does the game look to your layman's eyes? It does a good. It yeah, and does I've not good. I've not really seen this at all myself. You know, what, at the very bottom, it actually tells you what it does. So we don't even have to wing it this time. Ah. Oh, actually, um, what is it we've been having trouble with? Um, is it anti-aliasing? Probably not anti-aliasing, anti yeah. Right. Okay, change the graphics smoothing technique. That's what anti-aliasing. There Bam. we go. Right, V-sync. Um, turn monitor refresh rate and frame rate synchronization on and off. Okay, now we know. So basically, like, you can have a monitor refresh rate of, like, 120, but the game's capped at 60, so... I, so, I know it prevents screen tearing, essentially. In future, if we don't know... We will stop recording, we'll open up Resident Evil 3, and go through Free, the options. I will re I'm... <laughs> yeah, it's just basically just throughout this topic. Like, like, write that down! Write that down! <laughs> uh, then we have uh, <laughs> link to the Resident, Resident Evil.net stuff, which, you know, collects all kinds of different bits of data and stuff like that, and then... Yeah, basically... Just well, reset to defaults, basically. Yeah, just basically so they can spy on you so they know what show to sell. Now, bonuses. These are things I've unlocked so far. Uh, there you go, a nice character model right here. Carlos Oliveira. Hmm. He's got jiggle physics on his pouches. Look at them, hair physics. I'm looking Amazing. at them. Jiggle physics. Look at them. Look at them jiggles. 
You know, I I commend you for not selecting a female character to demonstrate that. You mean Jill? No. Okay, now you're gonna do that. Well, to be honest, I can't even tell. <laughs> Grenade Lodge is in the way. I I think that's on purpose, to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, that's the titular main character in the classic Resident Evil 3 outfit. Which is what she wore in the original game. Oh yeah, there's Jill because it's right there. Huh. All the things to include. Yeah, I I I don't know. And the bubble head doesn't bubble. That is there's jiggle physics, but there's no bubble. That's very head. disappointing. You disappoint me, game. That's a six out of ten. Uh, now, there was a way to change my costume. Um, yeah, right there, actually. Yes, there we go. So, that's the default one, the new design for Jill Valentine. Obviously, that was a classic one that we just had just then. And Carlos, we got the current one and the classic her, which is the one from the old game. So, basically, it's either with Miami PD or NYPD. Pretty much, yes. That's kind of what I'm thinking when I see that. But, you know, we've wasted enough time here now. We should probably get to the game. So, how many hours are you into this? I should have clicked load game so I could have told exactly how many. I think you said like an hour and a half, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. so. But there's a typewriter like right here, so let's check. Um, It doesn't actually tell me the length of time I played it. Huh. It only does in the other ones. So I guess so. You guess you have the limited saves in this, right? Uh, not in this uh, difficulty, but I think in hardcore you do. I'm on standard okay. game mode. I didn't want to go into hardcore because in the oh, previous right, game, hardcore like... was the highest challenge difficulty. Right, just because it gave you a number of saves. Though, and the menu, I was wondering if that's they generally track your saves. Saves. Okay. But um, let's see. What was I doing last? Um, you look like you're pretty beat up there. Oh my! I'm on caution. I'm all right. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I just done. I've gone into the sewers. I've just escaped the nemesis. Again. Right. He'll be making so... an appearance at some point. <laughs> Probably. Got a nice little dodge function in this game, which isn't in the previous ones. If you time it right, you can even get in special attacks against enemies, but you can use it to just generally dodge around a lot of them. Hmm. That was also something that was in the original number three. Uh, so far, I've seen one of the enemies been brought over, which was exclusive to Resident Evil 3, up in generally, which is the Drain Demos. One that I've always had a bit of a soft spot for, just because they got really freakish designs with lots of claws. <laughs> uh, Authorised personnel control areas and facilities in response to replacing aging. Kind of locks some new ones. Off the tanks requires a special made battery pack. Employees, you know, okay, so I've got to find a battery pack to get into this. I'll take it. Yep. <sighs> Uh, looks like I'll be coming back down that way. So, so obviously you've played both of the remake and, well, the original. Like, obviously when you interacted with the object, it kind of gave you a clue. Did you also have, like, audio cues from the characters to kind of contextualise those clues, or did it not hold your hand as much? Uh, the first Resident Evil remake, no, dead in the spots, whatever. The second one, I... I don't really remember if it had much of that in it either, to be perfectly honest. Um, I was talking more comparing the remake of Resident Evil 3 to the original Resident Evil Oh god, Evil no. 3. There was nothing like that. The original Resident Evil. Uh, no, I mean, hell. The amount of fouls that would have taken to actually do. It was a lab. Huh. Okay. Surprised to find the labs already. No, actually that is oh, one fucking, thing. fucking... The fuck is that? Guessing you've not seen that before. Nope, that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> nope, back then. Okay, that looks like a pincer maneuver right now. Okay, that should have just told you all right, I think. Uh, no, I'm glad I didn't. But... Actually, I'm on danger as well. Use my healing item. And it's a dead end. I mean, how considerate of those monsters to wait till you finish reading those notes? What the fuck was that? 
Still okay, so I killed this. Myself. Okay. I cracked open that crate. I have more gunpowder. Good. But fortunately, you used one of my talismans, so I'm fine. Okay, so. I've got those to worry about. So, I think there was a second one as well. I think that yes. one just kind of. Funny. I'm hoping that it won't be chasing me. So. Did I miss a ladder just then? Oh, fuck out. That's going back towards the dead end. Yeah, there should be a ladder according to that map just then. High level? It must be for something else entirely. Right. So, how low are grenades? I'd imagine three of that. Uh, so far I think I've found about five of them. That's the first time I've actually used one when I threw it before. So that took about four shotgun shells and maybe about half a magazine. Five pistol. Yeah. Um. So. Ooh, grenade launcher rounds. Don't have grenade launcher yet, but I'm going to happily take them. Oh damn! So I could have gone there. Oh, actually, that's something worth talking about just while on the subject. So, it seems that like the enemy placement's pretty good down here. I'm guessing that really adds to the atmosphere. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, it's something that's got to be heavily considered in a horror game. Yeah, can't just I mean, randomly um, shut things around. And also, generally, how good's the AI? Um, zombie's been quite lazy. The drain demos would constantly move around, so they were quite hard to actually deal with. Though they were quite easy to kill when you didn't hit them. I mean, I suppose really you've kind of got to consider that, you know, you want the you want to kind of tailor the eye so it's thematically appropriate. So you don't want. So you wouldn't expect the zombies to be that bright, but I mean, like, I'm talking more about, like, the nemesis, for example. Um, he has been quite a pain in the ass when he starts chasing you, to be frank. He has a bit of a grappling move which can suddenly grab you and pull you over. I don't really know how to get around that yet. So, is that new? Uh, yeah, it's new, to be honest, yeah. What do I do with this? Um, damn it, how's that? It's kind of like Five, explosive two, quick stick. It's creates explosive rounds. Speed to make flame rounds, okay, I see. So, can't carry that then. Oh well. Ooh, documents. Little darlings, it's <laughs> been three months since we fled here together. I found myself thinking back to the day you hatched. The little voices you made we tremble with pride. Your enjoyable little bodies, brimming with incredible destructive power, and of course that voracious, voracious, yes, thank you, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the hunters. Oh fuck! Um, and yet they order me to destroy you. Unfit to use weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. Wait, so was that the hunter baiters we just saw? It's supposed to heat, huh. So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed? Feed. Uh, right, so they are the hunter bases. So context, please. Um, basically, in the original Resident, well, the hunters as a whole are a long-running enemy variety for the games. Is one the one the basic BOW weapons mm, that okay. make a regular appearance in different variations. Uh, there's a lot of different code names for them. But in Resident Evil 3 in particular, there are Beta and Gamma Hunters, which are two different variants of more frog-like Hunters, which was that big thing just then. In other ones, there's been very big variations. In others, there's been smaller variations, which are faster. Hmm. They're generally an absolute pain to deal with. The Alphas, if it's like some of the other... Well, what I think I remember, they can get you in a single swipe if they jump right, and if you don't dodge. Um. Hmm, it's going to be another one of those things going to jump out to me, isn't it? Probably. I want from before, it's probably going to start chasing me. I just got to use a grenade. Yep, there we go. Okay, fuck it, have a grenade. Nope, shit, didn't kill it that time. I think, I think maybe it's because he had his mouth open. 
possibly. Seems that it's just as hide is quite yeah. resistant to your stuff. My stuff. Nice. Oh. That one was still there. Come on, open back up. I mean this seems like a pretty interesting set. Oh shit, I forgot to reload. That's my trick usually. Oh shit. Oh. Whoa, okay. Fucking grenade. You know what? I've never seen you use ammo quite as frequently as survival hard before. <laughs> well, I don't really think I'd be able to dodge around these things too easily. No. <laughs> Based on the size. But to be honest, so far in the game I've really not been using all that many bullets. I've been dodging around the zombies. I'm guessing that these are the kind of sections that you intended to use ammunition on a bit more. Yeah. That is, well, generally the vibe I just got. So... Uh, okay, so... This was a save room, okay. Ah, the good old save theme. Hello! Okay. Is so this the same room that you were in, or... Nope, it's different? not. This is a different one. Well, I thought it looked different. So I'll pick that up. I'm not going to keep it with me quite yet. I'm going to keep it with the shotgun for now. Um, let's see. Can do a gun shop. Huh. That's from Resident Evil 2. Thank you okay. for purchasing the da -da 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 grenade launcher. You made we made special adjustments to this piece of it to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. We discussed at the time of purchase this refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but it's reflected in the price as agreed. Explosive rounds, flame rounds, acid rounds. Ah, oh, no freeze rounds. But okay then. So explosive A, explosive A makes normal explosives. Explosive A plus B is flame and B and B is acid. My so, notes. out of interest, when you like read notes like this, are they kind of like put into a sort of compendium that you can refer to later, or do you just have to remember this stuff? Oh shit, it even mentions the gammas. And the significance of the, that uh, is... Gamma Hunters were from Resident Evil Dead Aim, if I remember right. So oh, are they kind of using this game to expand the lore a bit? Well, I think they're just acknowledging the further expansion of the law as a whole. I think because the thing that you were... Uh, because we were talking about this game a little bit um, off cam just before we started recording, and the criticism that you had of it so far was that they've kind of... Uh, they've kind of condensed uh, the content, like they've yeah. cut out a few keys. Well, what you would consider to be key sections. Yeah, the story, they've but it generally seems that cut out some big bits, but they are having clear acknowledgement to other aspects of the series. I think really, maybe it's just them trying to take a different creative take. And, you know, they're kind of maybe compensating for the things that they've cut out by maybe. expanding the law in other ways, I don't know. Oh, we're the ones we've just fought the gammas, maybe. Hmm... I need to check out, to be honest, it's been a while since I've really read over a lot of the stuff for the different enemy types. So how much lore is there dotted about in this game? I'm guessing uh, so it's far frequent. It's, uh, it's been moderate so far. A lot of stuff that we generally seen has been all kinds of little nods, really, to previous games. Just little things that you pass over, you know, like uh, locations mm. or little bits of graffiti, stuff like that. Actually, I think we might have been fighting the Gammas just then, then. I might be getting it wrong for Betas. We're saying go out Gammas quicker than the way out of the Sirs. Yeah, so it is the Gammas yeah, we'll be fighting, yeah. Way. Okay, so which ones am I thinking of for the Betas? I know the Alphas are the Well, I would ones imagine, which we're gonna fight based on this wrong. log, that that note you saw was from that Dr. Carlisle that was mentioned a couple of yeah. pages back. I think that was his name. So, could that... 
like, did the betas come after the gammas? Are they kind of like graded on sort of part lethal layer? Ooh, I nearly missed that. Ooh. Uh, to be honest, just compared to the regular hunters, they are a lot less useful. Hmm. The regular hunters are something that are very swift, and if you'd played the Resident Evil remake uh, through properly, instead of stopping where we did, you would have come across the hunters. Okay. So you generally know what to expect. Actually, that is something that I think we would probably do as a co-op stream at some point. Oh, definitely, yeah. That would make a great co-op stream. Uh, right, let's play. Yeah, I think really with me at the helm. Yeah. I know what I'm fun. doing too much. <laughs> What's I? I know what I'm doing oh, too much, so definitely. Uh, yeah, and I know almost nothing. You'll probably be banging your head against a concrete wall watching me play that game. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you know what, so it's sort of like it's, it's not the first, nor will it be the last time I've looked like an idiot. <laughs> I acknowledge it, I'm not very good at survival horrors, but then I've not really played them all that much, so I don't know. But no, to get back on the subject of this game, I'm really finding it to be quite atmospheric, really very much in the same way the first game was. Probably the one thing that I will say about this game, in comparison to the Resident Evil 1 remake, is just how quiet the Resident Evil 1 remake was. And just how, at least for me, that made it a lot more unnerving than this game so far. Yeah. I mean, whether there's sections like that elsewhere. This one's generally seen a lot more focus on action, to be frank. Yeah. I think really this game probably walks the line that Resident Evil 4, sorry not 4, uh, 5 and 6 try to, but it's a yeah. much better job. With the classic series as a whole, this is what marks a bit more of a change towards action over just simply horror. I mean, to be honest, I can still see elements of the first remake in this one. I mean, I could probably the dodge some of these enemies, I think. That one in particular just kind of made a bit of dodged. Probably, but never mind. But the point I'm making is that you can you can tell that the tone of this game is still... It very much still has its identity. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering how they're going to approach, because I assume they're going to go through... They're going to go to 4 next, do you think? Um, I... To be honest, I do reckon they might do that. I'm wondering if they'll eventually go back to 5 and 6 as well. As much as those oh. games need to be better, I don't know if they would, to be frank. Because it's not like people have got as much great nostalgia for them as people do for these ones. But then again, consider how long it's been since those games now. True. Like, just because a game wasn't great doesn't mean that there aren't remakes made of it. I mean, if they wanted to approach yeah, it and try to actually do a good job of it, then, you know, fair enough, I'd give I it a chance. I mean, to be fair, I think even though you were saying that this game... Because I don't remember if we said this on Cameo, but you were saying that out of the remakes, this is probably your least favourite, but that just has to be prefaced by saying that Resident Evil 3, the original one, was also your favourite of the game, so... Mm -hmm. But, with that being said, it's still... At least, from my perspective, it looks like a, a fairly solid game. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it outright. I don't think it's a bad game in any means. And watching you play it, you know, I feel that eventually I'll give this a go. Probably the only reason I've not already is because... Well, I need to do... First two, both of <laughs> yep. which I own. Thank you for the second one, by the way, still. All right. Yes, I think I might cool. buy the second one on PC as well, so I can actually do a stream or let's play of it or something. Yeah. One downside of the second one is you can't do a knife only run of it. Knives work differently in that game, they have endurance. This one, you actually have, you have infinite use of your knife, so you can actually do a knife run. Okay. So I've gone in touch, that means I'm probably going to start getting chased again. Yep, there we go. Hello. Wow. He was on point. Oh, fuck. 
You know, I thought that was just a, like a random construction worker from I just thinking he's really calm. <laughs> So probably it was good that we seen the... Wait, it can use weapon? Wait, has it not already? Nope, that's the first time I've seen it use weapons. Alright, I'm just gonna do a quick save right there. One of the, this might be one of the encounters you actually have to fight him for. Um, given I just got given a grenade launch, it's quite possible actually. Yeah, I was just about to say that seems like it's pretty deliberate. Okay, let's see. Um... Now this is something that... This is, I don't know about you, but this sometimes feels a bit weird to me. Considering that the Nemesis is chasing you, does it take away from the tension at all that when you're in the menus you are paused? Uh, for me, it doesn't really take away the tension because I've still got to come out the menu, I've still got to go back and fight it, regardless. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it, I feel like it would help the atmosphere even more if, like, you know... The game wasn't paused while you're doing this, so it's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I've really got to get this stuff together, like... Yeah. To be honest, some cool. of them have done that before. Um, Resident Evil Outbreak series didn't have an actual pause menu for when you were in them. Yeah. Uh... And the thing is, though, I do understand the reason why you perhaps it's not always a good idea to do that, but just given the feel that I've got from this game, I feel that that kind of layout, well, that kind of design choice would complement a game like this pretty well. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean that's just an opinion. Doesn't necessarily that's be just a game is opinion. Yeah. Cause the, the, the casual game is opinion, even. One thing I do really like about this, though, is the fact that we're going through more residential areas. With Resident Evil 2, they obviously kept it... <laughs> You took a champ out of me. Uh, well, great. Uh, hmm. So he's attacking the zombies as well? Yes, it just something's in his way, he just gets ready. Essentially. Okay. Much like the Mr. X variants, the Hunter Seekers. Something gets in the way, then it's just an obstacle. You know what? If that was even more with real, that would have probably heated the lad and she would have burned herself and fallen off. Eh, just remotely real. Chances are she'll be dead by now. <laughs> yeah. Several times over. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't really be nitpicking, <laughs> but I just saw that. Just, no, 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 no. You, you would have been dead at that moment, I think. Probably this one as well. He's gonna yep, punch uh, through this. Oh, probably. no, he's not. <laughs> so, the one thing that I was wondering about the Nemesis, like, like this feels pretty scripted. Yeah. So far. It has multiple quite um, scripted segments in this one. Whereas Resident Evil 2 in particular was not like that. It didn't really have set it's pieces. It's kind of just more... Yeah, what's up? I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with the, that one is kind of like just... You start hearing a thump, 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 and then you have to start running. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's so nice of them to, to wait for me while I read this now. stay safe at home. Right. So... That's the faulty ones that we can shoot. That means the dotted belt on the roof. Probably should have saved that. Oh well. Never mind. This looks like an arena. Yep. You think so too, apparently. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. is it, could you employ the dingo dial strategy where you just sort of shoot his backpack? Be honest, I'm kind of hoping this is explosive right here, like the other ones I've seen. Nope, it's not. Maybe I can hit the tank. Yep. Is that we're going for your tank? 
Who knows if that would make most sense to me? Oh, right, apparently this oh, can burn down. Fuck. I was just about to say, <laughs> wood burns, Peter. I was kind of thinking they might not have that in this. Now, the thing is that it should really be exploding now. That's on fire. I mean, wood doesn't explode, though. Oh, you mean the... Oh, no, no, it's bad pack. Yeah. All right. Eh. Nope, I want the grenade launcher. No, that's what I wanted. Um, ammo right there, take it quickly. Ooh, explosive rounds, nice. Alright. Okay. I don't like how fast he's moving. Wow, that's really convenient. Oh. Huh. I'm not okay. Sure that's how that works. But... Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, it's just napalm then. Yeah, that will work like that. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, okay. I mean, really, maybe this isn't the best guy to be a smart arse in front of. It's recharged, it's not recharged yet, sure. He seems pretty pissed. Still not recharged. Nope. <laughs> ha! Eat it. Charge, you have to uh, recharge. Still not recharged. <laughs> Pretty sure it's meant to go green when it's recharged. Is that not green? That's yellow. Oh, is oh. Nope. Oh. Oops, screen on my screen. That's right, just on green. Now. Right, so he's getting at the right angle now. Fortunately, he doesn't think to just walk the other way towards him. Son of a bitch, you had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got myself with that one as well. Oh, come on, my sister's not dead. I'm not quite sure if he dies or anything. Well, well me. he's not going to die, but... He's just going to have a nap for a while. That's kind of the point about Nemesis, he doesn't die. <laughs> so so the, he's just missing an action? No, he just doesn't die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this should be ready to go again soon. Not quite yet. Um, Still not ready. Um, yep. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Try to go. Ha! Got it. Here we go. Um, shit, is there anything I can do? Nope, there's not. Fuck! That's just the next phase. Still kicking? Uh, I'm taking a look at Oh, whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, fuck. You dodged my grenade. Oh, careful, but he's going to the Piccolo School of Martial Arts. Son of a bitch! <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> you better shoot than go on once. It's got to be grenade. Well, shotgun, I think. Actually, no, handgun. Uh, I need to get him another charge. Ooh, I'm on danger. Good thing I just noticed. Go to green, 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 go to green. Yeah, I got to go around this side. Just to avoid the fire. We didn't really have a great uh, charge then. <laughs> yep. Here he is. It's charged. Shoot, 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 shoot. Fuck. Wow, he's nimble for a bad guy. Shoot. 
Should have got more shotgun shells. Oh, fucking needs to be low. Yep. Yeah. Runway, runway, runway. Oh, thank fuck that was my last shotgun shell. <laughs> Sound design. Really sort of heard the crack there. I am so glad I kept a light grenade launcher. <laughs> and you know what? We might be starting just as we began. Sort of just or ending as we began, even. But yeah. Just surviving and running with the nemesis. So, Carlos? what do you reckon? It's Good Jill. point to you end off? Well, I want to get to a safe point, which there will be one very soon, given I've just yeah. not survived an encounter. Bastard's dead. <laughs> That's Good. what you think. No, you should have been several times. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm going to charge you for your poor life decisions, only if they don't turn out well. well. I mean, really, if they don't turn out well, I'd be dead and we're not having this conversation. Oh, that's the fair point. Uh, okay, so Gavin has climbed that. Yep. There I go. Oh, great, zombies. Yeah, you can a zombie game? No. Okay, I need some bullets. The thing is, I would imagine, sort of, if I know game design, and I kind of vaguely do, uh, I would imagine after an account like that, oh. the game probably would give you a way to dodge around these guys. Oh, wait, I know where I am. That's the police station. Hmm. Yeah, this is the underground parking area. It looks like we don't get to go into it, though. Oh, but there is something there for me. Oh, some high grade gunpowder. Oh, I thought that was just a Pepsi Max for you then. <laughs> yep, that's the underground parking for the police station. Hmm. That means Kendo's gun shop's just over here. It's across the way. Actually, was there something there just then on that car? No, it's just traffic guns. We technically thought that's something. Well, yeah. Yep, there's Kendo's. Okay. I got an explosive barrel. If I can lure them all to me, then I can just use that to kill them all. If need be. Plenty of space to run around now. You know what was ironic? That the guy just literally finished chewing you out, chewing you out about being bait, and now you're literally just doing it again a few minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I mean, uh, can I use my lockpick on that? Nope. Okay, so going with... Oh, so we actually get to meet Kendo again. Alright, awesome. Oh, she's not there. To be honest, I think I know what's going to happen next then. Given what I saw in the previous game. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Alright, so it's a mod for my shotgun. God. So I increased my shotgun performance, that should give me ammo as well. Awesome, I've just got six new shells. Nice. I mean, really, this is the best place you could have possibly have ended up after that fight. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like it, it sort of like fate was designed this way. Hmm. Almost as if there was a designer behind oh, it all. Yep, there's Kendo. Chill. Kendo, you're alright. You're alright to stretch. 
Sorry, I get a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When Is it? Up, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a. Uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. All right, so we're not actually gonna see it happen. Um, I have no idea what you are talking about, but I assume it's bad. Uh, his dart is infected. Okay. If I remember right, anyway. I mean, that was just implying that he was taking care of somebody. I think he kills himself in the second one. I can't remember, though, off the top of my head. What, in the second game? It's all right, Pumpkin. It's all right. That's a good girl. Yeah, yeah. So he's normally not alive in this game? Um, In the original Resident Evil 3, no. So, um, you know what I'm thinking at this point? I'm wondering if they've changed the order of events. Well, they have mixed up little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, actually, not to be honest, he would have been alive at this point in Resident Evil 3, but you don't visit this location in Resident Evil 3. Hmm. You only come here in the original Resident Evil 2. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we just saved it just then, so this is a good end-off point. We've had a good and nice run-in with Nemesis. We had to fight the Hunter Gammas, which I thought were betas, but they're not. It's not the best resolution yeah. right there. I think probably the only thing yeah. that we missed is get yeah, the gameplay where you're actively avoiding compact compact act, avoiding combat. There we go. That's how they say that sentence. But no, I mean other than that, I think that show is a pretty good showcase of what the game's about. Let's say I am enjoying it quite a lot. I know it's not going to be as long as I would have liked, but like I can't... it to be, yeah, but. I can't have it always, ultimately. I just wish they'd included all the different sections to go into, like the police station and the clock tower. Mm. Because I really do think they were good points. Mm. Like going to see Officer... What was his name? Was it Mur I don't think it was Murphy. One of the officers, anyway. Uh, he's infecting the second Resident Evil game. If you went there now, he'd not be infected, so you get to see how that happens. Mm. If you went there... Um, Maybe that's the focus that they went with this game because maybe in developers' minds, like, well, you've already seen these stories, so what's the point of showing you the exact same content again? Oh, Instead, yeah. we're going to show you that, stuff but... that you so know. Like you the kinda... tower segment is a pretty iconic set piece from the first game, yeah. well, from the original Resident Evil Three. Yeah, and not, having not played it, I don't know how pivotal that is really to well, it... on to this game. It's meant to act as what was it? You believe it's going to be the end game. You go yeah. there because that's where you're meant to be escaping from. Uh, only to what, have what when you that? call in the when you call in the helicopter, Nemesis has a rocket launcher, and he shoots it out the sky. Yeah. You have a showdown with him, which ends with you getting infected. Great. And after that, uh, you take over playing Carlos instead. So yeah, it's a pretty big area, pretty important bits. And to be honest, just then in the sewers, I thought that they were going to be something else. I thought we were going to be fighting the giant worm, which I don't, might not actually be in this game, which is going to be a shame, because I did quite like that as an enemy. You know what? I would actually like to revisit this game with you at one point, when you've completed it, just to kind of discuss the differences a bit more in depth. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, that's another time. Plus, yeah. I give this game a stars out of ten. Sweet. Thank you for watching and staying till the end of my video. Once the next episode is up, it'll be linked on the left side of this video. 
so feel free to dive right into the next part of this series once it's available. Or click the link on the right side of the video and you'll find more awesome content waiting for you. Hope to see you again very soon and thanks for watching.